Hi, Steve Hughes here from Altium again. You shouldn't have a difficult decision where to rate your differential pairs, whether you use pads layout or pads router. Then have to manage the DRC violations that are inconsistent between the two editing environments. Matching trace lengths, minimizing the separation between traces, and maintaining matched impedance are key to successful differential pair routing. So let me demonstrate how straightforward it is to route and tune differential pairs using Altium Designer. Let's first review single layer interactive routing using the Shift S keys to switch to single layer mode. Next, from the active bar, I'll click on interactive routing and select interactive differential pair routing. These are short and relatively straightforward differential pair segments, but demonstrates optimized pad entry that minimizes overall length and removes intra pair skew. More often than not, you will have multiple identical differential pairs, so you can continue to quickly and easily interactively route those traces. Or to increase your productivity, you can just copy and paste those traces, maintaining uniformity and ensuring design integrity. Select a single segment, then use shortcuts to tab to select the complete trace segment, then Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Next, we'll review interactive tuning. From the active toolbar, just select interactive length tuning, and then select the interactive differential pair length tuning command. The length rule can be derived either manually by setting a specific length, from the design rule definition, or matched to another set of differential pairs. Just select the desired option in the properties panel. Other options, such as the style of the tuning pattern, and values for minimum amplitude and spacing can also be defined in the properties panel. But for a complete list of shortcuts that can be used to adjust the tuning while routing, such as toggling the amplitude direction, increasing or decreasing the gap, just use the tilde key to open the pop-up menu. Then when the interactive tuning bar turns green, it means your actual routed length is within the specified target length. A faster and more efficient method of routing multiple differential pairs simultaneously is use an active route. Open the active route panel and select the differential pairs to be routed. In the properties window, you have the option to tune the length, choose to gloss the results, and pin swapping as the traces are routed. You can also select the layers that you want the differential pairs to be routed on. For this example, the traces will be routed on layer four. You also have control over the trace to trace spacing either defined by the design rules or manually, and any excess over Manhattan length that is permitted, which is effectively the total length of your router trace. Select the nets and the option to automatically tune the routed lengths to the match length design rule, then select active route. For these traces, as you can see, it just takes a few seconds, extremely fast and efficient with accurate tuning results. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to try Altium Designer yourself, either through a short online evaluation or download the software for a longer trial, simply click the link on the website.